Hello friends. So the question is, in which of the following cases of motions, the distance moved and the magnitude of displacement are equal? And the four options are A, if the car is moving on straight road, V, if the car is moving in circular path, C, the pendulum is moving to and fro, and D, the earth is revolving around the sun. So let's first draw all the cases. Let's try to draw a representative diagram for all the cases. So this is case A. If the car is moving on a straight road, so if this is a straight road, this is a straight road and this is straight road and the car is moving on this straight road okay now if the car is moving in a straight road the distance moved and the magnitude of displacement would be equal how so if this was the line let's say in this line the car was moving along this line so point a to point B since it is a straight line so distance and displacement both will be same both will be same so the, the what is distance distance is the actual path between actual path line between A and B so if this was let's say s meters it was s meters s meters so in this case distance is equal to displacement is equal to s Let's check case B. The car is moving in a circular path. So let's draw a circular path. If this is the circular path in which the car, in which the uh, object is moving. Let's say this is the circular path in which the object is moving or the car is moving. So in this case, let's say the car, the car moves from point, point, point A. This is point A, let's say, to point B. Okay, so the displacement will be nothing but the shortest distance between A and B. So this is the displacement. But the distance is this much, this curve path. So obviously, the curve path is longer than the displacement. So hence, in this case, distance and displacement is not are not same. Pendulum, now third is pendulum. So let's take the case of a pendulum. So if let's say this is a pendulum, the pendulum is something like that. Here is the bob. And when this pendulum at the extreme position, okay, and this is the this is the another extreme position. Okay, so here is the path length of the pendulum when it goes from one extreme to another. So let's say this was A and this was B. Again, in this case also, the displacement is nothing but the shortest distance. So this is displacement, which is clearly shorter than the shorter than the path taken by the pendulum. The actual path traversed by the pendulum is this, right? So this is the length. This length is much more than the displacement the shortest distance in this case also distance and displacement are not same similarly in case d let's take case d in case d what is that the earth is moving around the sun so if all of us know that the earth goes around the sun in an elliptical orbit so this is sun and here is earth so when earth earth goes around the sun clearly it is traversing an elliptical path so so in this case also let's say when the earth completes one full revolution so let's say earth completes one full full revolution from here from here back to back to this position then then the displacement is zero as the initial and the final position is same but actual path length is much higher so hence hence uh, in this case, hence in this case, distance and displacement are not same. So the right answer in this case is A.